Don't let the stray lead you astray. Suppose we're walking and someone approaches us and asks us to come with them somewhere. We wouldn't just go along nonchalantly. We would first evaluate whether the detour would be worthwhile. While that is common sense, that sense is not so common when we deal with our inner world. From within, sometimes stray thoughts emerge and invite us on detours. These propositions are made so subtly and swiftly that we often fall under their spell, and we end up wasting our time in craving for trivial things, or lamenting about unchangeable things, or worrying about improbable things. Actually, time wastage may well be the least of the detour's costs. <gasps> During some detours, we may be misled into actions that are karmically incriminating, emotionally entangling, or spiritually degrading. Such misleading thoughts frequently emerge from the mind, which the Bhagavad Gita declares is restless, akin to a stray wanderer. We can't eliminate the mind's wanderlust immediately, but we can train ourselves to resist it. The best resistance strategy is purposefulness. Returning to the starting example. We wouldn't let anyone sidetrack us if we were going on an important assignment. Similarly, if we keep ourselves purposefully engaged in important things, and if while doing those things, we remind ourselves of their importance, we won't let stray thoughts lead us astray. We can best cultivate purposefulness by practicing spiritual meditation that connects us with our deepest values and highest purposes. Such meditation fosters inner alertness. If by that alertness we can put off the mind's idea for even a few minutes, that idea's spell will wear off, and we will regain the perspective to evaluate it objectively. Then, we can go along with it on the few occasions when it is serendipitous and continue on our way on most other occasions when it is gratuitous.